Lumps in the back, everything is stiff, it hurts, moving is difficult. Even just this one exercise is a ray of hope because it includes all stretches and strengthening movements that ensure the back and consequently the spine are opened up. And if you do them regularly, your back will always feel fitter and more comfortable. Before we do the exercise, let us know quickly, thumbs up, comment, do you like such videos? With just one exercise, things can improve a lot. For this exercise, you only need a mat or a soft carpet and a wall. And then you go on your knees. If that is too painful, then go on your knees on a cushion, yes, to make it a little softer. You go close to the wall and place your feet on it. That is an important detail, that the feet are placed. And now you stay with the buttocks against the wall and with the torso, you keep going further back. We'll start by breathing in to stretch the front, addressing everything that gets trained in there negatively through this unbalanced sitting, right? All those tensions. You keep contact with the bar and gradually move further back, step by step. You can also include the head permanently or in between, then the whole feeling of release also continues in the neck, not only in the entire back. That depends a little on whether you can already do it, already want to do it, just give it a try. It's also possible that you just go in briefly, come out with your head again. I'll stay with my head out because I want to explain so that you know what we're doing here. Breathe further in and feel the stretching in the groin, in the upper end of the thigh, maybe in the hip joints and probably in the back, and that is good because it shows that we are training for a pain-free back. Breathe further in and now let's start. Push the wall a little bit away with your torso. This is the strength training and relax again and push the wall away a little bit again and relax again and push the wall away and relax again. And now we move into the lateral. You walk along the wall gradually moving further to the left. Then you start pulling on the right side of the pelvis and the right side of the waist, and you can let the right arm run a bit higher along the wall. And then you may notice it pulls higher and higher in here, exactly to the side of your back problems, and the back blockage and whatever may be happening there. Breathe in further and go sideways more and now pull yourself to the right. Now comes our strength training. Pull yourself to the right, but keep your hands on the wall. Let go again and go a little further to the left and pull to the right again. Let go again, go further to the left and pull to the right again, let go again, and go further to the left. And now we turn. While staying like this, the right arm goes down a bit, pulls the right shoulder even further to the left, and the left hand pushes the right shoulder a bit further away. Now we rotate. In the side bent position we rotate, and our back loves it. because it feels even more stretched. Breathe nicely, and now we want to turn to the right and let go and go a little further to the left and turn to the right again. Let go and go further to the left and do the same again and go further to the left. And now we walk very slowly back into the rotation. Then, in the lateral, bend your back, but stay at a distance from the wall so that we are overextended at the hip joints. We move to the right and, with distance from the wall, increasingly pull ourselves to the right in the lateral flexion of the torso while being overextended.
Breathe nicely, deep in, deep out. And now we want to return to the center, but the hands hold us in position and we let go and continue to the right and again back to the center, let go and continue to the right and again back to the center, let go and continue to the right. Now we let go with the right hand, pull ourselves with the left hand into right rotation and press ourselves a little further into the stretch with the right hand, so to speak, into the rotation stretch. And we want to turn back to the left, let go and continue to the right and turn back to the left again, let go and continue to the right. Turn back to the left again, relax and continue to the right. We return to the simple overextension straight back and enjoy it again. The groins stay against the wall, we include the head and then we come back up. Slowly move away from the wall and you may notice that your body now wants to bend forward for a moment and we allow it to do so. Even if you don't fully come into the seated heel position, go as far as possible and then bend again at the hip joint. Pull everything out of the back extensors again from the back because they were very short throughout the exercise and now we make them long again and then we come out again. And enjoy that again, keep the groin against the wall, we add the head, go up again, slowly move away from the wall and you may notice that your body now wants to bend forward quickly. And we do that. Even if you don't quite get into the heel seat, go in as far as possible and then bend again in the hip joint and pull everything out of the back extensors again because they were very short throughout the exercise and now we want to make them long again and then we come out again. Wow! Did you notice how that goes deep? If you're doing this for the first time and are still relatively inflexible, it's not necessary that you replicate every detail exactly. Approach the exercise in a way that you can handle what you achieve, that you can tolerate it and execute it, listen to what I say, it will program itself in. And then do that for a few weeks, every day, and you will be amazed at what happens. And now please stand up and feel inside. By the way, if you have problems with kneeling, you can also do the same sequence while standing. That works as well, sort of like a preliminary stage, until you gradually get into the bent knee position, which is important for certain muscles that also get involved in the stretch. If you already feel relief, which can be good, then it would be great if you give a thumbs up, write a comment, and describe how it worked for you, so that others can be motivated as well and recommend it further. Recommend this exercise further. Actually, everyone should do these exercises because when sitting, everything gets increasingly trapped in the back and when we do the exercise, everything becomes more and more liberated and simply opens up. And now to conclude, I will show you one more exercise that doesn't take any time and is actually a resting exercise but still has a great effect on back pain. Look, take your back saver or a few books if you don't have it, lie down with your sacrum on it, adjust the height so that when you lie down relaxed, you have a really good stretch here because this is the most important stretch our back needs. Then gradually spread your legs further apart as you deepen the stretch or increase the intensity to go deeper into the stretch. That was the most important exercise for lower back pain. The second most important back exercise on the back saver is to support your thoracic spine to get out of bad posture or to get out of these shortenings that occur higher up. You lie down, feel where the best spot is, that really triggers the stretch clearly, stay there for two to two and a half minutes, then come down and you can do that. Therefore, without wasting time, whenever you watch TV, listen to music, entertain yourself, you can even read in the positions, it doesn't cost any additional time. I love doing these exercises in the evening before going to sleep because they really help me relax. Now a brief note on our own behalf, this back saver is one of our aid tools. These aids, I developed them so that practicing becomes easier for you, so that you can practice more efficiently 
and so that you save time. And if you are interested, then click below the video on the image and you will get all the information you need. And if you have noticed that your back responds well to such exercises, here you get a complete back routine and down here, very, very important button, you can subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget the bell so that YouTube can notify you when a new exercise is available. Great that you were there. I'm looking forward to seeing you. We'll see each other next time. Goodbye.